Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Makar Kodash. This is just a um, clip that I found, you know, online, and it says, you know, the title says, "U.S. will never apologize for Hiroshima and Nagasaki." Truman's grandson. Then, um, pretty much, basically, it just shows you like a survivor of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki and these wounds and things like that, you know, um, after the, the the atomic bomb was dropped, you know, and it made me think about basically the nuclear destruction that's coming to Babylon the Great, which is America, man, because according to the scriptures, America is going to be hit by nuclear missiles in this third world war and be totally destroyed, you know, but this is the devastation that they caused uh, in World War Two when they dropped that atomic bomb on the, on the Ammonites. Hiroshima attack also left hundreds of thousands injured with later generations affected by birth defects and deformities. We heard from one of the survivors and the grandson of the US president who ordered the attack. Uh, just to warn you, some of the images, uh, you may find them disturbing. You know, I, I, like most Americans born in that time and growing up after the war, the bombs were a great thing. They ended the war, they saved uh, hundreds of thousands of lives on both sides. And that's what my grandfather always said was his reason for the decision, to end the war and save American lives primarily that would otherwise likely be lost in an invasion of the main islands. It doesn't feel at this point that it will ever be no. a, a flat-out apology from the U.S. to Japan or the other way around. I don't know that the United States has ever asked Japan for an apology for Pearl Harbor or that they've mm -hmm. offered it. Well, according to the latest Pew Research poll, more than half of U.S. respondents believe the dropping of the atomic bombs were justified. Only 34%, as you can see there, disagree. RT's Guy Nature Japan gauged public opinion in Washington. This is what we had to do to, uh, I guess, show our presence and in the war. I think that the war has been over and it's in the past, so I'm not going to dwell on the past. I'm just happy that the U.S. and Japan have a really great relationship right now. What did they tell you at school about the atomic bomb? Um, they didn't tell me about nothing about that. I don't think it was just, but I think that it was necessary. Not, not in the terms of stop the war, but to actually see what the bomb would do. You think it was necessary to deliberately kill 140,000 people to test the bomb? Well... Has another bomb been dropped since? Hmm. Well, that's how these devils think, man, pretty much. And, you know, at the end of the day, hey, the Lord had them drop that bomb, man, you know, to show their might, to show, you know, the might of America at that time. But now the Lord has it where the America is getting ready to be destroyed via Russia, Iran, China. All that, all his allies are going to turn against it and America is going to be totally nuked. Ain't going to be no survivors. The only people that are going to make it out of America are the elect of the nation of Israel out of ba Babylon the Great, because that's what it really is, Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures. And the only people that are going to make it is the elect of Israel, man, out of there. The rest of the people in there, they're going to die. All them so-called white people, Edomites, all the heathen nations that are there, you're just going to be annihilated there. Two-thirds of the nation of Israel that's in America that ain't allotted for salvation, you're just going to be destroyed when the nuclear missiles hit. And they're going to burn everything up, man. Burn everything up, man. That's according to the scriptures. So let me read this here. This is Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have created the smith that blow off the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I've created the waster to destroy it. And the smith is what? Like, we always go into this. The smith is a, a, a man that you went to in the ancient world to make you a sword. Okay? Make you a, a killing instrument. So today, the modern-day Smith is these scientists that are creating these nuclear missiles, man. 
They're the modern day Smiths. They're creating nuclear missiles for the purpose of what? For the purpose of destroying, um, destroying shit, man, in the Third World War. Because this is how the Third World War is going to be fought. All the nations are going to be firing missiles at each other. But according to the scriptures, America, Babylon the Great is going to be totally destroyed by the nuclear destruction that's, gonna, that's about to come. So the, the Smith is what? The Smith is a modern day scientist that are creating these nuclear missiles. And hey, Russia's got millions of nuclear missiles. Iran's got millions of nuclear missiles. China's got millions of nuclear missiles. India's got millions of nuclear missiles. All these nations, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. All these nations are, are, are ready. They're ready. They got the nuclear missile too. America ain't the big bad bully on the earth anymore. All the other nations have the nuclear missiles too. And it's, this is prophecy, man. You know? It's prophecy that the Lord has it all set up, man. America had its time to rule and now it's time to go down. And, and the time for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans to come back into power uh, under our Lord and Saviour, Yahweh Shai, man. Whom the, world, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his name's Yahweh Shai, man. So the Lord's stirring this thing up right now. Right? And uh, as you can see what's going on in the Middle East, they're, gear, they're, they're, they're in the middle of battling right now, man. So the World War III is, is coming to a head, man. The prophecies are speaking. You know, the RFID chip is soon going to be out. Well, it's out already, but it's going to be made mandatory. All right. All, all over the earth, man. It's out. It's here already, though. It's going to be pushed on, on the masses, the martial law troops. Things are just going to drastically change, man. And it's happening. OK, so it says, behold, I've created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire and that bring forth an instrument for his work. And I've created the waster to destroy. The smith is them scientists creating the nuclear missiles today, man. And the waster to destroy is the nuclear missiles, man. And that those wasters are going to destroy what? The land of America, man. Known as Babylon the Great, man. It's going to be totally destroyed via nuclear missiles, man. Okay? And let me get this one here. This is... Uh, Zechariah 14 and 2. 14 and 12, excuse me. 14 and 12, it says... It says... <coughs> and this shall be the plague... Where the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. And the plague is what? The plague is going to be these, the nuclear missiles that are going to hit the earth, man. Hit America primarily. And then look at it, it says, it says, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Okay? Because Jerusalem, it, like we always go into it, is a people before it's a place, man. And Jerusalem represents your so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. You're the children of Israel, man. And the Lord's going to fight for us by destroying the land of our captivity, man. And those of our people that don't wake up and come back to Yahweh Bashem you're going to be destroyed in that destruction, man. So it says, that have fought against Jerusalem because they've, the nations, the so-called white man, that America is, he's, well, the so-called white man rules the whole earth right now, Esau, the Edomites. And America is one of them, basically their main hub, man, one of their main hubs. And in America, what have they done to you so-called Negroes, that Native Americans, oppressed and destroyed you, man, till this day? Ain't nothing changed, okay? That land is stolen land. They stole it from our brothers, the North American Indians and the Seminole Indians, which are the tribes of Gad and Reuben, okay? Then they brought so-called Negroes over there and built the land up, man, in, with free labour, slavery, destroying us. And, they st and then they still destroy us to this day, still killing us on the streets, still feeding us junk, uh, junk GMOs, man, destroying us, man. Put, still wearing the holes of the, of the cities, the ghetto communities. So nothing ain't changed, man. So that's why the Lord said, and this shall be the plague where the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Yeah, the Lord's going to smite these heathens that have fought against us and destroyed us, man, have put, have, have put us on a low level. And by and how's the Lord doing that? The end game is the nuclear missiles, man. The Lord's making these heathens, make the so-called white man create the nuclear missiles to destroy himself for his kingdom to fall so that we can, so that Yahweh Shai's kingdom can come up, man. Okay? So it says, that fought against Jerusalem, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Their flesh shall... What can consume your flesh while you stand upon your feet, man? High intense fire, man, from the nuclear missiles, man. That's what can do that. Okay, it says, Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. So when the nuclear missiles... 200 million nuclear missiles are going to strike America, man. Okay. Now, the nuclear missiles are going to hit all over the earth, various parts of the earth. But according to this prophecy, America, Babylon the Great, is going to be taken out from one end of America to the other. Okay, so it says, it says, Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And that's what's going to happen, man. 
So the nuclear missiles are gonna burn the burn the pe burn the people that are allotted to be destroyed. You know, as soon as they hit, man, while they stand up on their feet, ah, just burning their eyes, uh, are burning their sockets, all of that, man. Their flesh just getting stripped away. You know, and just being destroyed, man. You know, because when the nuclear missiles strike, they're gonna destroy the buildings, they're gonna destroy the peoples, they're gonna destroy everything, man. That's the the animals that are the, everything defiled, man. That's just defiled in that land, man. Two thirds of the nation of Israel is gonna be destroyed. That's what's coming, man. Okay. And then the Lord's simultaneously, the Lord's gonna deliver His elect, man. From up, He's gonna deliver His elect by the, by the chariots of Israel, man. Which the white man calls UFOs. He's gonna deliver the elect of Israel up out of America, man. And the, and the elect are gonna see it be destroyed, man. Okay. Let me get this here. The brothers are going to see it be destroyed, man. And good riddance, man. Because that, that land has done nothing but oppress the nation of Israel, man. That land's done nothing but oppress the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Okay? This is the book of Revelation. This is the book of Revelation. Uh, let me get it here. This is the book of Revelation 18. 18 and, and 10. It says... It says... I mean, this whole chapter's bad. This whole chapter goes into the destruction of Babylon the Great, America, okay? This whole chapter goes into it. But I just wanted to just get this specific verse. It says, Revelation 18 and 10, it says, Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city. Because America, Babylon the Great, that land of confusion, because the word Babylon is means confusion. And it is a land of confusion. You know, You know, there's many... <coughs> reasons why it's a land of confusion, man. All the stuff, all the freak shit that happened there, homosexuality, transvestites, weird shit, man. You know, pedophile uh, governments, you know, all of that stuff, man. Okay, uh, you know, it's Babylon, a land of confusion, man, the land of wickedness, man. All right. So it says the only shining light in that land is the brothers teaching the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, man. Starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man, and the brethren teaching this word, man. That's the only light, man. The word of the words of Yahweh, Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so it says, standing. Let me read this again. Revelation eighteen and ten. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city. For in one hour is thy judgment come, and that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna be like, damn, that whole land got, is gonna get nuked in one hour. So uh, America, the amount of bloodshed. That they had to do to build that land, the blood, sweat, and tears that went in to, to build that land via our people, the nation of Israel, because Israel built that whole land, man. Let's be real, man. That whole land was built by the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans in slavery. Okay, so it was. It took a. It took so long to build it up to the way it is now. Now everyone wants to go America, the great cities of America. You know, they want to go to the to see the big high-rise buildings and whatever, whatever have you. <clears throat> but the Lord said he's going to destroy it in one hour. So all that, that they, the so-called white man's built up, in one hour, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, is going to destroy it, man. He's going to destroy it. It's going to come to an end in one hour, man. And the nuclear missiles, are, the 200 million nuclear missiles are going to do that. Okay? So let me read that again. Revelation 18 and 10. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. So in one hour, that whole landmass of America, a.k.a. Babylon, well, Babylon the Great, let me just say it straight, Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed in one hour, man. Okay, in one hour, finished, you know? So what they did, what, the, what when America dropped the bomb on the Hiroshima and Nagasaki, that ain't nothing to what's coming, man. Because the great judgment's coming, man. The great judgment that's written within the scriptures is coming, man. The, the great destruction via the nuclear missiles is on its way, all right? And Lord's will, this is the year that we're getting out of this kingdom, man. And our Lord Yahweh Shai establishes his kingdom here on earth, man. Okay? So with that, I'm just going to say all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Double honours to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the Akiyam that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Nukal Kodash. Shalom.